What it about losing your internet connection not being able to access your Gmail account? Well, in this video, I am going to show you how to use Gmail offline so you never have to worry about that again. So hey guys, my name is Roman and welcome to Webby Digital channel and in this video, I am going to show you how to use Gmail offline. This is really important if you are someone like me who relies on email for work or communication because if what if you lose your internet connection and not be able to access your gmails or mails or important mails okay well in this method you will never have to worry about that again so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit that red button because it will boost our morale to more post more and more tech tips like this so let's get started and if you want to read it out don't want to listen to my crappy voice then you have a link in the description box where you can browse the text version of this particular video so you may have a scenario where you need to access your email and not having an internet connection is a rare thing in this world right <laughs> but if you lose your connection and you have an important email in your account then you can actually sync your emails to your desktop and it will save all the images into your desktop and you can actually access via online via web browser so how to do that what you need to do is obviously open your gmail account okay and this is a gmail account here and afterwards click on that wheel or settings wheel icon and here you will see the see all settings click on see all settings now browse through the second last option of offline click on that offline and here you have an option to enable offline mail and after you click that checkbox you have various option or information for at your disposal here first is the storage storage is the amount of uh, megabytes or gigabytes it will take or taking right now on your computer like it's using 9 mb of 139 gb available so you may have heard about the cache right or what chrome do is they actually save those information or those in the form of cache in your temporary folder under your google chrome's program folder in your c drive or wherever your program is installed so there it shows that it using 9 mb of 139 gb which is available for offline mail on your computer and next is sync settings so store emails from the last 30 days or you can see well, max out at 90 days so it can store all past 90 days emails at your cache folder then you can also include the download attachment so i highly recommend you to download the attachment because in my experience sometimes i need a document which is only in my gmail account and my internet goes out or even electricity goes out so i may be needing a document or a pdf file or something like that in my mail so i can download that using gmail offline version so you should select it i recommend to select it and there's a security reason security option so security option after logging out of my account either you can keep offline data on your computer or remove offline data computer but i suggest you to if you pro privacy person to remove offline data from your computer because hacker can easily browse through those cache files with a simple program okay so you can just enable remove offline data. but i usually keep the offline data on my computer because i use vpn all the time in my case i will be using offline data on my computer so afterwards what you need to do is click on save so it says offline not recommended for shared devices email will remain on this one until offline mail is disabled so i will say that i got it and now what you need to do is it will restart chrome here restart the mail browser here and it start as you can see performing initial syncing so what you need to do is go to this or press ctrl plus t to bookmark this particular url it will be easier way to access your emails just straight from the bookmark url right from here so i suggest you to press ctrl plus d and bookmark this particular url so afterwards what you need and now we are going to test if it's actually working or not so let me just turn off my wi-fi here so in the internet connection is being switched off let's see okay so it's not working so i have already bookmarked my gmail url already so what i need to do is go to my this three dot settings here and bookmark click on this particular gmail icon so gmail is open in another tab that means it is already open here let me just refresh it down let me see if it does open yes it does open so i can see you can see i can easily just open any email right here so let's find something with the attachment here if some attachment is there in there so yes i can browse this particular attachment also so that's how you can browse gmail without internet connection maybe you are using a business account right so for the business account 
you may not have the offline version available here like i am using here let me give you an information like raman at webby.com this is my i use gmail workspace or i will say google workspace for my business so maybe you don't have offline enabled for your device or for your google works workplace account and to access that you need to enable it using the admin panel and for the admin console what you need to do is go to admin.google.com and this interface will open on your dashboard and here you can easily just search for the offline here and here it, you have different settings for the offline so i will be needing the gmail web offline here click on that it will open a new interface with different options so here as you can see you have a different option available here the themes which is on obviously on the email receipts if you want email receipts which we have covered in the previous video and here is gmail web offline as you can see as a default it is disabled and to enable it just click on it click on enable and you can also have an option to force deletion of offline data on sign off of google account if you have a team member so whenever they sign out they can actually opt for offline data or you can force them to delete all the offline data on your account which will be helpful for your business because hacker can easily access those cache or temporary files out there and click save and it will take some time to implement that change in your gmail account as you can see you can be most changes take effect within a few minutes or you can prior view prior changes in audit log click on the audit log you will see all the logs which are actually happening for your google account so here let's see if it's enabled or not so it's actually hasn't yet but it will be as you as you can see it just has started so let's just wait for it for like a 10 to 20 minutes and we will be back okay so it's still not being there from past 20 minutes so i think it will take up to 24 hours so don't don't get worried about it it will get enabled up to 24 hours so i hope you like this video if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if, if you want to learn such tips and tricks in future then click on the subscribe button if you have question in mind you have a comment box with you so see you in the next video until then bye bye